So it's another glorious day here at the Chateau. It's overcast, but it's still warm and it's still lovely, which means we'll be able to get on with loads of jobs today. And one of the exciting jobs that we're going to be doing is the windows. We have new windows going in today and me, I think it'll be me and Tracy and Paddy get, getting on with them. And then what we're going to do is we are going to also be starting work on the top terrace in the wall garden. So we've got pretty much all of the wall garden mapped out now. Um, we have um, everything in place so we can see where everything's going to be, so we can see where the borders are going to be, where we can see where the paths are going to be. And it just looks absolutely fantastic. So the work that we're going to be doing today is going to be mapping out the terrace as well. And it'll all fall in line. And we have Susan here. So Susan's going to be helping us with that out the back as well, but it's just looking so amazing. Um, I don't know whether you get the gist of it when we do the camera angles down on the ground, but I know when we get the drone up and when we actually get the angles looking down onto the garden, when we can see it out of the windows, it just looks absolutely superb. So let's go around and see what they're up to around here. So you'll see spikes in the ground and here's Terence. Look, okay? look how it looks. I know, it's looking amazing. Well, you can't really tell from this level. So I've, I've just said exactly the same until like we get up with the drone or you stand in the actual upstairs rooms in the chateau. Yeah, you can see it, but yep. obviously already you can see it coming together. So the design's built up of like a mixture of gravel paths and grass paths and then obviously beds in it and a lot of hedging. Um, but yeah, it's just looking amazing. I said, just seeing it at this level it is and then once, like I said, you get the drone up and you actually see how it's sort of like coming together it is it's amazing and what you're doing today so today we're getting all of this terrace done so we're getting this marked off just so this links in with the rest of it all and all the shapes and, and everything flow don't they it all matches up with each other top yeah. and bottom so when you look from the, the top we've got like obviously these semicircles where at the top you just like oh well it's just a random semicircle but we've got the other half down the bottom so it's like a split circle from the top section to the bottom section when you look from upstairs, it's just one continuous circle which mimics these stairs. So, like I said, Shane's done amazing with the design, just the way it sort of links in, but it's separate as well. So the top part has got like some curves which are separate, but then we've got parts which link it in as well. Mm -hmm. And I could just so, see a little Patrick running along there. Yeah. Here we go, here he comes. Patrick. Hello, Patrice. Hi, Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing up there? He's Camera shy in the morning. <laughs> yeah, just like, same as me. Yeah. So, yeah. so we're going to crack on with getting the rest of this laid out now. Um, once we've got it all laid out, obviously this is just the initial thing, so we can make sure that the design actually fits the space and it works. After that, it's just going to be a long, slow process of sort of digging up the paths, getting the irrigation in, because we have to get all the irrigation in. And then, yeah, bit by bit, hopefully we're wanting to try and get some plants in by the end of this year so they can bed in and and, and just just so people understand how many plants are we talking in total in this garden terry uh i think the hedging we've probably got i think it's about a thousand <laughs> just, just a thousand just a, thousand. a, a nice round easy number well yeah, yeah. <laughs> we thought about that so we'll see we've got one rose <laughs> it's not in yet well i know but the holes dug <laughs> But Shane's got a couple in at the side of the stairs. Yep. And just getting a couple of little plants in um, already is just transforming it. Yeah, just changes the feel, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. So I better crack on now, give Shane a hand, and hopefully by the end of today we'll have all this South Terrace done. Come on then. Come on then.
absolutely amazing it's, it's unreal like this this all started three years ago it's just clearing it mm -hmm. and then it's just been a work in progress but mm -hmm. the majority of this has been done really in the last eight months february march wasn't it we yep. started pulling all the trees and everything out and starting rotivating and everything else was the big job started yep february march just getting it somewhere near a blank canvas yeah and uh, which which is what we have and it's superb but we've had some good times this week and we've had to say goodbye to rob yeah, this some week sad times yeah yeah he's come back to the us i know bless him i know and i think he, he's enjoyed being here and it's been amazing having him yeah he has been he's been a massive help yeah thank you rob thank you so much mate and we'll, we'll see you next year hopefully Hopefully. yeah and the the reason we're here and the reason we're doing this is it's because of Karen mm -hmm. Karen put us in touch with some absolutely amazing people mm -hmm. um, in, in Shane and Warren and Susan mm -hmm. so we've we've been able to have landscape architects here um, she's she's got them here for us and they've just drawn up some absolutely amazing plans it, they, they're fantastic Shane is absolutely amazing he really is the things he's done the drawings he's done the way he's worked with Terry has just been fantastic um, Karen came last year, the beginning of last year, the beginning of this the year, beginning of this year yep. with Shane and they just had a walk around and got a feel of the place. And they bought some nice plants and everything yeah. to, to start They've getting They've gone in, in um, and then Shane came back with his partner Warren um, this week. Yep. So it's it's just been amazing. <laughs> Considering what this looked like a week yeah, ago. <laughs> yeah, he does work hard, Shane really, really works, I give him credit, he really works hard. Yep. He's up at 730 and he works till 7.30. Yeah, he is. It's an absolutely amazing job. Yeah. So, so thank you so much, guys. We, we can't thank you enough. We've yeah. still got Susan here for a few more days have, and she's yeah. going to help with mm -hmm. placing some more, more of these plants. plants. And the reason we're putting these plants in, I'll take you around and show you them, yeah. is because they've been sat in pots for months. So we're getting to a point where they need to get out. So we've, we're a bit simple, aren't we, Trace? So we, we we've had to name these plants. So these are our Scooby-Doo plants. And the reason they're called Scooby-Doo plants is because they're Daphne. And it's easy for us to remember that way. Um, and the reason these have been placed either side here is, is they're beautiful, they're fragrant. So when you walk into the garden, you'll smell the actual beautiful flowers and smell the actual plant itself. Um, we are next to a farm, so it, it is kind of necessary that we add some colour and fragrance in here just so that it just masks it all. Here we have beautiful tree peonies and these are absolutely spectacular. The flowers that we'll get off these, they're just big and beautiful and it, it just... It just makes it absolutely wonderful to see it in front of the chateau. And here, this is Tom. And the reason this is Tom is it's Tom Thumb. So again, nice and easy for us to remember. Um, a nice evergreen, but it's got some beautiful red-green foliage. And it, it's an evergreen, like I say, so it, it'll be nice all year round. Alongside the rose to give it that little bit of colour and, and make it pop. And then either side of the stairs here, we've got the, the gin trees. So these are gin trees because they're juniper. Again, nice and simple for us to remember. Um, and these will just give it a little bit of texture and make it look absolutely wonderful. A lot of you have, have, have asked about the irrigation and, and what else we're going to do. So as we put the um, paths in, we're going to add irrigation underneath the paths and we'll strap that off so that everything gets um, planted nicely. You've asked about fountains. Yes, we're getting fountains. There's going to be two lovely fountains here either side um, just to give that beautiful bubbling noise along with the bird sound around here. It'll be amazing. Again, more beautiful plants here, and these, these are one of my favourite, just because, again, the, the smells that come off them. It's a lovely lemony citrus fragrance, so when you walk down here into the garden, so it, yeah, it's going to be absolutely wonderful. We're going to have um, hedges in different places, so we've gone for a different to box hedging, because box hedging here gets bothered by blight. So we've gone to an, for an alternative that Shane's found us that will work in exactly the same way, but it, we won't have the same problems. And we've gone with lavender as well, so we're actually going to have some proper lavender hedging around here. And again, the reason for that, the fragrance, it'll give off in the garden, it keeps flies away, and it'll just mask the smell, smells coming in from anywhere else. So this is just going to be a, a wonderful environment. So I hope you've enjoyed today. We, we've absolutely loved this week. It's just been so much hard work, but so much fun at the same time. If you have, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and make sure you've got the bell click for notifications as well. And we'll see you in the next one. If you'd like to be part of our journey and help restore the chateau, then please join us on Patreon, where you'll be part of our journey, receive a piece of the history, and get exclusive videos.